The ordering system on 3D Shoemaker has been developed to cater to a huge range of shoemaker needs. In this video, I'm going to explain the various possible order types and sections of the ordering form. First, let me say that 3D Shoemaker is both the name of the website and the Rhino 3D plugin. If you're interested in the plugin, you can find it on the software page. If you are looking for shoe last, uh, you'll want to click on the design menu and choose shoe last. Now you're presented with a variety of shoe last designs to choose from. Uh, once you choose one, you'll be taken to the product page. So for instance, if we take a zero drop shoe last, now here's the product page. Every ordering form will have a, a description of the shoe last that you've selected as well as a 3D model viewer, so you can see, have a look at the, the 3D model for the actual shoe last that you've selected. And then there is also the, uh, the ordering form that's common across all shoe last designs. And at the top of the ordering form is the order type, and if you click that drop down, you can see there are currently eight different um, order types. The first order type is a standard size print. When you select it, now you can see the possible lead times and you can also see um, what uh, sizing systems are available to order from. You can choose US Men's for instance and then you can choose the size and the width. You can see some of the outlier, size are price, uh, outlier sizes are priced a bit differently. You can also choose to show the measurements for any given size and this will differ depending on what shoe last you select. And then you can choose the option to um, have different left and right sizes. Now you can't see the uh, actual measurements anymore, but you're able to choose independent sizes for the left and the right feet. Now there's more options further down the ordering form, but I'll circle back to those because um, they're common among different order types. The second order type I'm going to describe here is the uh, standard size model. So it's essentially the same as a standard size print, except instead of receiving by mail, a physical shoe last you'll receive by email a digital shoe last. And moving on to custom print. So if uh, you're looking for specific shoe last measurements then this is the option you'll choose um, rather than ordering a standard size and you'll be able to input the last length, the ball girth, waist girth, instep girth, top girth, last arch length and the ball width and the heel width and you can do this independently for left and right. And note that these are shoe last measurements and not foot measurements. And those two things are not the same. Uh, foot measurements, to go, go from foot measurements to last measurements, you have to add on uh, allowances. And it's, so this option is typically for an experienced shoemaker who has a good understanding of the difference between uh, foot measurements and last measurements. But there are some links you can um, refer to uh, if you want to try to uh, to learn about this, but uh, typically somebody who's looking for uh, putting in foot measurements will want to choose the bespoke option, which I'll choose. I'll explain later. And now another option is um, custom model. So once again, it's just you receive it by email a 3D model rather than a physical 3D print. And now moving on to uh, the bespoke print. It's uh, so as I mentioned before, the bespoke is if you actually want to provide foot measurements, uh, foot data rather, um, and you can uh, choose which type of foot data you want to provide, whether it's tracing and girths, a 2D scan and girths, or a cast or a 3D scan. And depending on which of these you choose, uh, you select, you, you'll be um, provided fields for inputting the the measurements or the the files that you'll need to upload, and you're also asked about sock type and uh, the weight bearing conditions and any other info. And if it's the 3D model you want to receive rather than the actual physical print then you'll choose bespoke model. And the next option uh, order type I'll mention is the parametric model. So this is a, uh, a 3D file that's available for direct download rather than something that's emailed out after a lead time. And it's for a file that uh, a shoe last design that is uh, completely parametric that can be used in the 3D Shoemaker plugin. It's uh, as far as I know, the 3D Shoemaker is the only fully parametric shoe last design software out there. Um, and uh, so you can edit all of the parameters one at a time to kind of generate the, 
the different styles, such as the ones uh, here I've shown as the, the collection of shoelaces that you can select from. Now say that uh, you already have a, a shoelace design software that you're using or some CAD software that you're familiar with. You can also just simply choose um, a static model and that will be a single STL file um, in the size mentioned in the description for this particular shoe last and um, you can uh, grade it as you wish and so on and 3D print it and uh, once again it's available for direct download after purchase. Now if you've chosen one of the order types that gets sent out to you after a lead time um, either by email or by physical mail um, there's some additional options you can choose from. The first is the joint type. There's uh, either it can just be um, a solid body shoe last or it can have a joint such as an alpha joint uh, or a rail joint. A joint is necessary for removing the shoe last from most types of footwear. The rail joint is a really great option for hobbyist shoemakers given the smooth mechanical advantage of the joint but it won't work for closed footwear like cowboy boots, in which case you want to choose the alpha joint. Also, the alpha joint will be faster to operate and will be more familiar to experienced shoemakers. Below the joint type option, you'll see a uh, checkbox for design adjustments. If you check this, then you'll be presented with a, a variety of options. Uh, some of these are fairly self-explanatory, like heel height. You could set whatever heel height you want for uh, the shoe last you're ordering or toe spring, the wedge angle, uh, space for insoles orthotics if you're intending to put uh, insoles or orthotics into the, the shoes. Uh, you'll want to uh, obviously make space for them and this is done by essentially dropping the, the bottom of the shoe last. Um, and then there's the you can uh, request a, a foot shaped bottom. Um, so some uh, types of shoe lasts will have a bottom surface that looks more like an orthotic surface, like a foot shaped surface. Um, and of course, this is uh, will, uh, the surface will be a little different depending on whether it's for a low, uh, medium, or high arch. And you can select all of these options here. And then there is the the feather edge type. Um, the traditionally the shoe last will have a very sharp feather edge joining the bottom surface of the shoe last to the side walls of the shoe last. But for some types of uh, shoe construction like strobel, you might want to have um, a, uh, a filleted or rounded edge, uh, feather edge, and it perhaps only behind the ball joint. And there's also some design toggles and features you can select from. Uh, the boot shoe last style toggle um, will essentially, if you have a, you're looking at a shoe last and you want it to be a boot last, uh, you like all aspects of it except that you wish it were a boot last, then you can choose this option uh, and vice versa. And uh, whether you want a slip on or a lace up fit, um, you can also request to have a sandal thong if it's not already default in this design. And then a hanger pull hole is like a, if you're trying to remove a shoe last from a, a cowboy board, for instance, and it's really hard to get in there and just pull it out with your hand. You, this will put a hole in the back top of the shoe last that you can put a, um, some kind of a metal wire and, and, and pull it out that way. Um, and then there's the chop toe option. Some shoe last styles just simply have a, a chopped off toe uh, to create a flat plane at the end to create a unique style there. And if it isn't already default to this design, choosing this option will turn that on. And uh, then there's the size outlier. So there's a lot of uh, quite the range of sizes you can already choose from for standard sizes um, and widths. But if it's not there, then you can choose this option and you can input whatever size outlier you want and uh, notice uh, and there's a bit of an extra charge and um, I'm not seeing this here now but there there should be a slightly larger charge for like very large oversized shoe last because they do take a lot longer to uh, print and they do require quite a bit more material and uh, toe, style, uh, toe style change so say that uh, you like the body of this shoe last but there's a different shoe last style in the collection that uh, you prefer the toe style of then you can choose this option and you can mention it here and it'll be swapped over for your design now below the design adjustments section there is the uh, an include patterns checkbox if you check this then you pre presented with some options um, so for whatever shoe last you've ordered it can be quite a bit of work to, to uh, create the, the flattened upper and, and uh, bottom patterns yourself. So to get it done digitally 
and then uh, emailed out to you the digital files. That can be a, a quite a time saver. Right now, it's uh, digital files for whether or not you're ordering a physical last or a digital last, but uh, eventually the, the cardstock will be an option for being mailed out at the same time as the physical shoe lasts. You know, and also these, if you do choose uh, this option, then you get to choose between whether your digital format is PDF or a DWG. And then below that option is the uh, include orthotic and insole option. So you uh, hit that and you'll be presented with um, some uh, possible options here. So you now if you're choosing an orthotic to be included with the, uh, the shoe last you're ordering, uh, you can put in the, the arch height that you want to receive, whether it's a flat, low, medium, or high, and the body style, whether it's a three-quarter or a full length or a three-quarter just shell uh, orthotic, and then the overall depth of the orthotic and the top cover thickness. And you definitely want to have, have some kind of a... That, now, this top cover th thickness is something that you would apply uh, yourself. It's just the 3D printed part that you're receiving or the model for the 3D printed part that you're receiving. So the, this is just like t saying how much space you intend to have for the top cover thickness. Um, now the top cover is recommended because the, the 3D printed material can be hard and it's definitely uh, not the right material to have in direct contact with uh, the, the foot, particularly if the foot's barefoot. Now there's one more section of the ordering form I'd like to go over, but you can't actually see it for this particular shoe last because uh, it doesn't have any available matching components. So if we go back to the designs of shoe last page, and we pick um, a medium heel height women's shoe last, such as the women's boot shoe last, and if you scroll down, you see an option for include matching heels wedges platforms. And so if you check that, then you're able to see what uh, components, matching components, are available for this particular shoe last. This is a small collection now, but this is going to be growing quite a bit. Um, and now if you want to have one of these um, included in your order, you can check it, and you can have more than one if you wish. Um, but uh, it's just one of each. If, uh, if you were looking for um, a quantity of each, you'd want to go to... Uh, the designs and then chooses wedge platforms and heels and then you could choose that uh, component directly and then that ordering form will have quite a, a bit more options such as material thickness offsets and so on and ordering quantities and uh, that's uh, I'll explain that to ordering form in another tutorial um, but that it's also the same actually for the, the orthotics of the insoles. Uh, if you saw uh, didn't see the options that you needed there and needed more customization, for instance, to a specific foot, then you'd want to go to the designs orthotics insoles uh, page. And from there, you could uh, choose an orthotic design and, and get it further customized. The last thing I'll explain in this video is how to order size runs. Now say if you wanted to order a size run from uh, 6 through 12 for this particular shoe last, what you'd want to do is uh, choose the size and add it to your cart, choose the next size, add it to your cart, and do this for every single size. Um, now one catch to this is that if you are choosing design adjustments and you're paying for them, uh, you're not going to want to have to pay for those for every single size you order. So what you would do is you would... Um, order the first size with the design adjustments and then instead of ordering the other sizes the same way you would go over to the services page and then you would choose uh, the developed women's in this case shoe last and then you can uh, you, under, in the section for the developed shoe last reference you would just give some identifying info for what shoe last you're ordering and now you're able to choose the size that you want and you won't be paying any extra design adjustments that way. That's it for this 3D Shoemaker video. Uh, if you have any comments, you could leave them below or, or uh, reach out by email. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.